My sister Varsha, she's really big on ethnic stuff. Varsha, she's the film actress. That's her. Well, is she around now? Why? Just asking. You want to meet her? She's around, why not? Don't you think you have your hands full enough with me already? Well, I got two hands. Sorry to burst your balloon, but she's out on a shoot. You know, I've seen some of her films. She's really good. She comes across like those intelligent kinds. Look, I really don't want to talk about Varsha. She's my sister, yeah, sure, but I don't want to talk about her right now, okay? Whoa, no problem. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. Hi, I'm Arjun. Hello, Jeanette? Yes, Pavan here. Hello. Um, no, don't bother calling James. I just have a message for him. Tell him that I will be back at work tomorrow morning. Yes, I'm flying back tonight. Yes, I look forward to seeing you again too, Jeanette. Goodbye. Dear Prithvi, I got our passports back from the police today. I'm leaving on the first flight to Toronto. Thanks for everything. I'll call you. P.S. I don't doubt you anymore, friend. It is a necessary qualification to becoming a writer. Oh, you write too? Yes, uh, I, I try. <laughs> you know, I've always wanted to be a writer. In fact, I have done a couple of pieces for magazines like Glad Rags, mm. on fashion shows, you know, atmospheric pieces, the kind you find in GQ and Vogue. How fascinating. You know, I've always wondered how you writers get your ideas. Inputs. Inputs? Yeah, you know, through television, hmm. good music, traveling, doing all this, you gather input. Mm -hmm. Have you tried your hand at uh, book size work? Now, books are passe. Really? Hmm. But I have written a few novels, you know. Novels? My God. That must be very difficult, huh? Uh, actually, I'm planning to change my novel into a TV serial. Hmm, adaptation. This is something that's always fascinated me, you know. How does one take a richly textured novel and, like yours, I'm sure, and adapt them to this new medium of television? It's easy, nothing to it. First you have to throw the novel out. Out. Then you get a good script writer who's gonna give you good dialogues. But I thought you were going to be the writer of this television script. <laughs> of course I'm gonna be the writer, Mr. Pandit, but I have to get a good script writer to give me good dialogues, write all that screenplay kind of stuff, you know. Mm. And I don't have the time to do all that because I have to be out there gathering... Inputs. <laughs> right, you catch on fast, Mr. Patil. Thank you. You <laughs> should try your hand at writing sometimes. Uh, yes, I should really. Uh, that's very kind of you, very gracious of you. Talking about writing, actually I am getting together about eight to nine writers over the weekend. So huh. if you are free, maybe... You could come over to my place and maybe you pick up a thing or two. What a fascinating idea and what a generous offer. Thank you very much. I might take you up on that. Meanwhile, I have to go and get back to my mundane routine things, you know. But this brush with genius is something 
that I will never forget as long as I live. Good day, young author. Nice to meet you, Mr. P. Bihang Patil. Bihang Patil. What do you think? You look terrific. Do you think it's too casual? I mean, I don't want to be underdressed. Don't worry, you look fine. What happened to you? Your father happened, dating and all that kind of stuff. And that was blabbering away. And I didn't have the biggest idea that he is that hotshot writer. Those are his books, aren't they? Yeah, so? Oh, I get it. <laughs> God, I feel like such a schmuck. He was just having a little bit of fun with you. Yeah, but it still is embarrassing. You live. My father, he laughs too much. My mother doesn't laugh enough. It's a weird family. And here comes another one. All right, Shweta. <clears throat> when did you get here? A few days ago. Hmm. Another fashion show, or were you just missing us too much? Uh, Baba and I here too? Hi, I'm Arjun. Varsha. I know. I've seen all your films. I think you really are terrific. That's really sweet of you. Tell me, how do you work in an industry like this? I mean, how do you cope with all these kind of people? What kind of people? You know, all these filmy types. I think there are more filmy types in other fields like modeling than in Hindi films. How would you know, Vashu? You never made it as a model. I never wanted to make it as a model. I just wanted to do a couple of ads for the experience. So don't you feel stifled? No, I like the people I work with. I don't always enjoy the work I do, but that's not the fault of the people who make the movies. It isn't? Listen, I'm really tired. I've just come back from a five-day shoot. Can we continue this a little later? Sure. Good. What's the matter, Vashu? Need your daily Akash fix? Who? Well, he's not here. Have you gone out? He's gone, hon. Flown the coop. I guess you hugged him too tight and choked him. Who are you guys talking about? An old flame of hers. He's married now, but she can't seem to get him out of her head or her bed. Well, does this old flame have a name? Akash Pandarkar. The advertising guy? And theater. I've done a couple of assignments for him. I should scratch your eyes out. Why? The way you looked at my sister, like some lovesick teenager. You were like those despot fans who used to hang out the house just to catch a glimpse of her. You know, Varsha is pretty cool. If you try to make the moves on my sister, Buster, I'll throw you out of my show so fast your head will spin. And you can forget about coming to Paris with me too. You know something? You were dead right when you said you had a weird family. All of you are weird. The last one of you. And you feel that no further incidents are likely to occur? You see, this offbeat occurrence was something that does not happen every day. And will not happen every day. Thank God. Because, you know, whatever you may say, we still have a much lower crime rate than that which exists in the so-called... Excuse me, sir. I'd like to have a word with you. Manisa's courtesy demands that you knock before coming. This won't take a minute, sir. You see, I am occupied at the moment. I'll call you when I finish. That's very urgent. I'll appreciate it, sir. I said later. You return their passports to them, sir. Then he says, I refuse to discuss this with you at this moment. Sir, the MII guest house case was assigned to me, sir. Then he says, can't you see that I'm talking to the press? Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'll, I'll come in later. I'll call you later. Fine, thank you. Sorry again. Everybody is very, very enthusiastic here. Yes. 
Please. Yes. Get me 242467. No, I'll hang on. Yes. Hello? Hi. Can't come to the phone right now. Call the mobile or leave a message after the beep. Yes. Could you tell me if the reporter is still in ACP Swami's cabin or has she left? What? We've gone out together. But I was given to believe that. Hey, come, Guru. Sergeant Dabdek, a cabin major. Wants a inter department form there. When's the form this? A case reopening form layout. Okay. Samaj gaye? Yes. Go. Ah, get me administration. Sergeant Dowdy. Ah, Dowdy sir. We need this. Kaise hain aap? Aur? Bachi ka admission admission ho gaya? Kya bolta hai? नेशन मांगते हैं आपसे आपने बताया नहीं कि आप पुलिस वाले हैं <laughs> जहां पैसों का सवाल है पुलिस वाले कुछ नहीं चलते हैं हाँ अच्छा डॉक्टर साहब मैंने हवलदार गोविंद को आपके पास भेजा है यस आई वांट आई वांट एन इंटर डिपार्टमेंट फॉर्म अ फॉर्म फॉर द रीओपनिंग ऑफ अ केस यस जरा दे देना ए, एक मिनट चाय बोलो मेरी चाय बोलो ले जाओ वो वो चाय वाला था हाँ यस नो इट वॉज अ केस इट हैपन थर्टीन ईयर्स गो नो 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 कंप्लेंट जस्ट एन एक्सीडेंट एन एक्सीडेंटल डेथ ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट कॉल जॉनथन पार्क यस दैट्स ऑल आई हैव जस्ट अ सब्जेक्ट नेम Why do I want to reopen the case? Well, I have fresh evidence, or, or I think I have fresh evidence. So many signatures. ठीक है बाबा, signature ही लेना है ना, पैसे वैसे तो नहीं, ले लूँगा. Yes, yes, he's come there. You give him the form, won't you? Thank you. Thank you, Ravi sir. Good day. Hello, Shama. Where the hell have you been? Nalini, for the last two days. Anyway, you can't believe what's been going on while you've been away. <laughs> no, I'm fine. No, no more exploding fireplaces and gunshots. As far as I know, the other guys are fine too. Hey, look. Before I forget, there was a call for you from Hong Kong, and it was your boss, and he's really pissed off. So I think you. Better call him back when you get here, okay? Hang on, hang on. Looks like our passports are back. I don't know how they got here. Oh wait, there's a note with it. Yeah, it's from Pawan. The rat couldn't wait till he saw me in person. Anyway, basically it says he's gone back to Toronto. Anyway. I guess we'll talk about it when you get back. Yeah. I'll see you later. Bye. Hello. Mathur here. Ashok. I thought he said not to use your name on the telephone. हेलो 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 हु इज दिस
Said he didn't know a shock master from Adam. Well, Piyush, so much for your lies. Gotcha. So what do you want me to come in? Nothing. Nothing? That's all the commitment I've ever got from you. Good you called for this meeting, David. Yeah. I was going to call you anyway. Something you wanted to talk about? Mm-hmm. Oh, let me guess. Your wife doesn't understand you. <laughs> You've been causing too much trouble lately, David. David T. Parker, that's me. Trouble is my middle name. <laughs> hey, fill her up, pal. You've been doing your share too, haven't you? I do my job. Except it's not just a job for you. You like it, don't you? They pay me damn well. Oh, sure, better than a policeman's salary. That was a long time ago. But you know what? You're still very much like a cop. Maybe an American cop, huh? Cops are cops anywhere in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to the point, David. Screw the point. Let's get drunk and kick some ass, huh? Huh? <laughs> no fights, David. I don't want to draw attention to myself today. Oh, yeah, that's right. You've been a bad boy lately, haven't you, Randy? I read about your other job in the paper. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I know you're working with Rahaja, and I know Rahaja's working for Mator. Are you insane? You can't mention those names here. Call it, Randy. There's trouble with you. You get out of control so soon. That's the only way to get through this crazy roller coaster ride. First, you were at the guest house when you're not supposed to be there. I was trying to do a job. I was planting a bomb to scare them. And you shot. You shot Akash Bandarkar. You could have killed him. That was the idea. But that's not what I was supposed to do. I was just supposed to scare them. Boom! But just like that, huh? And then at the hospital, I told you not to come. You came anyway. And again, you went too far. Trying to inject poison into an ivy trip? Beats boo in them any day. But you got caught red-handed. I have diplomatic immunity. <sighs> then I have my orders. You always have orders. You're a hired gun, Randy. But I know where to draw the line. You do? Where? I don't shoot friends. But you are making it very difficult for me to stick to that rule. Hey, hey, keep coming, pal. I know that you sent photographs of your brother to those people with the word confess written on the back. Cute, huh? One of the pictures found its way into the hands of the investigating officer. News travels fast, huh? And that officer wants to reopen your brother's case. Why would he want to do that? because he feels there's a connection between the series of events and your brother's death. So why would he think that? If you had kept your nose out of this and let me do my job, we could have avoided all this mess. Yeah, and what were you gonna do? Go boo those guys? You gotta be kidding. I was supposed to do what you are trying to do. To get these people to confess to what they did to Jonathan 13 years ago. 
The police are supposed to find the connection between those five and your brother's murder. They're supposed to reopen the case and arrest those five. So they're going to reopen the case, aren't they? Yeah, but now when they do that, they'll find a direct link between you and Mathur. I don't even like that creep. You've got to stop treating this like a personal vendetta, David. It didn't happen to your brother, Randy. You don't know what it's like living with that memory. You'll get your revenge, David, but not this way. Let me handle this. Sure, but I don't like the people you work for. It's very simple, David. Either you stop trying to kill these people, or I'll carry out my orders. And the bill, please. And what are your orders? To kill you, David. The drinks are on me. <laughs>